All right, Reese, welcome to your video analysis. And in this video, we're going to really focus in on the strengths that you have as a hitter. And we're going to do that by comparing you to Ken Griffey Jr. here on the right-hand side. I'm sure you know Griffey, one of the greatest pure hitters of his time. Very smooth swing. And when I compare young hitters to pros, I'm looking at a couple of things. I'm looking at, number one, the type of hitter that the kid can be, the young player can be. And then number two, I'm looking at the type of things the young hitter does to get himself into a hitting position. And so if we look at Griffey here on the right-hand side, number one, we already know that Griffey's a very athletic, fast outfielder, and he had a very smooth swing. And I see those things in you. You're very effortless in the way you move. You're fast. You're an outfielder. But more importantly than that, you have a very similar hitting timeline as Griffey. And when I talk about hitting timelines, what I'm really talking about is what the hitter does to get into a hitting position. And in Griffey's case, if we watch his stride, it's a very simple stride. He keeps his foot low to the ground. He gets the front foot down quickly. And he's ready to swing, as you can see right there. And then he can launch. Well, that's a, a hitting timeline that I love because there's very little margin of error when we have this short stride that stays low to the ground. When I looked at you and studied your swing, I saw the same type of hitting timeline. Let's go ahead and watch your stride. And notice how your front foot stays low to the ground. It's simple. And you get that foot down and you're ready to launch. So... Those are the big reasons why I chose Griffey. With that in mind, what I'd like to do next is play your guys' swings in sync with each other at the same time. And as I play them, I want you to go ahead and pay attention to the similarities between you and Griffey and the differences. And then when I'm done playing it three or four times, we'll break down your strengths. Okay, so we've taken a look at the swing a couple of times. Let's talk about strengths. First strength, most obvious strength, is I love the position you're in with your stance, specifically the feet and the head. A lot of hitters have a hard time starting in the balanced position. If you look at Griffey, the first thing we look at is the head. His eyes are slightly in front of his belly button. And so that's important because if he was to turn his head and look at us, his head would be directly in the middle of his body which is true balance. And if we look at you, Reese, same thing. Your eyes are slightly in front of your belly button, so your head's right in the middle of your body. The second thing I like about Griffey is his feet are wider than shoulder width, and his knees are slightly bent. He's relaxed. We see the same thing here with you. Feet wider than shoulders, knees slightly bent, and a good relaxed position. So that's fantastic. Um, the next strength that you have really boils down to the position that you're getting in before you swing. So if we look at Griffey here, go ahead and get him into his stride. Nice, simple stride towards the pitcher. And now he's in a launch position, ready to swing. If we take you to that same position, there's your launch position right there. A couple of things I like. First, I like, I love actually, how Griffey keeps his front shoulder closed. He's got a little bit of an inward turn towards home plate. You can see the same thing here with you. That front shoulder closes when you load your hands. And your shoulders are slightly turned in towards home plate. The next thing you can see between you and Griffey is both of you guys have your hands back. Notice how Griffey's hands are back, pretty much over his back foot here. And you do the exact same thing. Those hands stay back over that back foot. That's a great position to be in to launch. The final strength that I see here is the position of your head and the level of balance that you have when your front foot hits the ground. Notice Griffey's eyes slightly in front of his belly button. Same thing here with you. When you're balanced like this, when your front foot hits the ground, it allows you to make good decisions and it allows you to drive the baseball with authority. I want to wrap up this video by just taking both your swings through, through the swing so that you can look at the positions that you're in. This is a really critical position right here. This is what I call connection. And this is where the hands and back elbow get connected to the hip. And as you can see, with Griffey, he's got back hand, back elbow, back hip, all lined up. You can see the same thing here with you. 
And this is so important because now once you get these pieces connected, you can have a smooth swing through the zone using your hands and hips together. I also love the contact position with you and Griffey, specifically with the hands. You can see here, he's in a palm down, palm up position with the hands. That back elbow is close to the body. Good power contact position. You can see the same thing here with you. So both of you guys have very smooth swings. And what I'm going to do in the next video is address some things that you can do to build off your swing to make yourself an even more effective and powerful hitter.